So chapter one, we're going to cover picturing distributions with scraps. So what we're going to talk about is the difference between individuals and the variables they possess. We're going to talk about category of variables and how those can be represented during using pie charts and bar graphs. We're going to talk about quantitative variables and how we represent those using histograms. We're going to practice interpreting histograms based on their shape and looking at uh, how to create stem plots with quantitative variables and end today's PowerPoint with um, time plots. So first off, what is statistics? Well, statistics is the science of organizing data. I went a little too far ahead. Statistics is the science of organizing data. And the first step in dealing with data is to organize your thinking about the data. So we need to separate the individual from the characteristics. So an individual is an object described by a set of data. So I am an individual, surprise, and I can be described by a set of data, right? Like I am 32, I live in a specific zip code, I have brown hair, I have blue eyes, I'm five foot five, right? Like those are different pieces of data defining an individual. And a variable is a characteristics of the individual. So for example, one variable on me is the blue hair, brown eyes, things like that. So when we're planning a statistical study or simply exploring data that someone else has collected, we're gonna be going through a lot of data that others have collected over the course of this semester. Um, we wanna ask ourselves some questions. And these are like the five W questions. I feel like we all learned um, in like elementary school. So when it comes to who, it's like what individual does, typo, does uh, the data describe, right? We also want to know the what. So how many and what are the exact definitions of variables in our data? Remember that numerical data needs a unit. The units are so important. We also need to know where where is really important to know the context of the data we're collecting? Are we studying unemployment rates in New York City or in rural Montana? Because that's going to be very different. Also important to the context of our data is going to be when. When was this data collected? Data about the population in the 1990s in that census is very different than data about our population now. And when we collect data, they can be broken up into two different types of variables. So those variables are categorical. It's what places individuals into one of several groups or categories. Now, that could be gender, right, hair color. Um, it could be even like zip code. I know you're like, oh, no, Dr. Miller, zip code's a number. Well, it puts you into a category. It puts you into a region in the United States. And much like a state or a county is categorical, so is zip code, right? We wouldn't want to calculate the average zip code. We'll talk about averages in Chapter 2. Hold on. Okay, so then we also have quantitative variables, right? Those are variables that take on numerical values, and they have a, a unit of measurement, right? A zip code didn't have a unit of measurement. So for example, that could be um, age, height, weight, right? Those would all be good um, quantitative variables and they all have a unit of measurement. So how does one begin working with data? So you can start by conducting an exploratory data analysis and we are gonna be doing that in project one. An exploratory data analysis is the process of using statistical tools and ideas to examine data in order to describe the main features of the data. And we'll talk more all about this in chapter two as well. But what I really want you to do is begin just like exploring, like you're an explorer. You're trying to find something. You're trying to find something interesting to you or statistically significant, right? So you need to begin by examining each variable itself and then move on to studying the relationships uh, among those variables. You could also begin with a graph or graphs, right? Then add in numerical summaries like mean, median, mode, that's a chapter two problem, um, of specific aspects of our data. So how do I begin by displaying categorical data? Um, Nope, that's not what I wanted to say. 
we also want to look at the distribution of a variable, right? We want to look at where its values fall. To examine a single variable, we usually want to display its distribution, right? So the distribution tells us what values it takes on and how often it takes on these values. The values of a categorical value are labels for these categories, right? The distribution of a categorical value lists all the categories and gives either the count or percentage of individuals who fall in this category. So for example, um, typically this class uh, is 75% freshmen, right? A lot of freshmen take this course. So that'd be one way to describe the distribution of the variable, which in this case would be class standing. 